We're back with another edition of Grizzly Connect. Bryant Johnson with senior Jamaican, Camry Jones, All-American. He won the 500 meters in Colorado Springs at the Air Force competition last week. But now that I rehearsed our interview from last year, I left out a very key question when I was chatting with you last year. How authentic do you feel the portrayal of Jamaicans were by Hollywood in the 1993 film Cool Runnings? <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, hmm. Cool Runnings. Well, I don't know, but everybody always seemed to gravitate to that film. I don't know why, but um, it influences me a lot, you know. Yes, it does. It really influences me a lot. Like I see, I see their de determination and I see their motivations and stuff like that. They were both. They were. Um, they were motivated intrinsically and you know ex extrinsically, and I use that you know as a stepping stone to my races and stuff like that. Well, and, and who doesn't love Leon? You know, and Dougie Doug and John Candy. It was such a fantastic film. Oh, but from a, like a realistic level, growing up in Jamaica, did the impact of that film was it felt based on the bob sledding community and the athletic community? Yes, um, we don't do a lot of bob sledding stuff, but um, athletics. You know, where we have a different mind frame we have a different aim and goal set in other than americans no offense but yeah we do we do have we do take our athletics seriously back home you know and movies like those and stuff like that you know they motivate us a lot you know it's Kay Marie Jones, the ASC track and field team. How accurate is the perception that athletics is a way out of a place like St. Elizabeth in Jamaica? <sighs> very accurate like um you know coach martin always says or head coach he always says opportunity is one of the most wasted things in life and when you have something like that when you see an opportunity you grab onto it you hold on to it you know and i saw the opportunity to come to america be better get a better life start a new you know get the get a good education with my legs you know you know i just think that it's it's a great opportunity there's a different level of hunger with international athletes because you're not choosing to come to Alamosa Colorado based on the academic you're focusing on academics but you you come here strictly to be an athlete uh, how does that draw to come to a different country and location just to participate in athletics make you more hungry than say locals or Americans it makes you more hungry I I, I could you know testify for that um, you know, you leave your country or you leave your house on a daily basis, you know, to go to work. You know, you have that drive to make money, come home and, you know, feed your family and whatever. It's the same thing for us. Leaving Jamaica, it's a big deal, you know, to come here. You just to get the opportunity to run for another school. You still represent yourself. You still represent your country. You still represent your high school, you know. So leaving home to come here. It's not just coming to Alamosa, or it's not just coming to Adams State. It's like coming here to get your education, to represent your country and yourself, and your family, of course. <laughs> There's almost a different level of rivalry, though, being from Jamaica, and it can be with fellow Jamaicans, especially with how many talented Jamaicans we have on campus. Zenobia Sims was named the RMAC Female Athlete of the Week this week. Uh, of course, Indira racing overseas and, and being in China. When you look at the different rivalries, be it in the RMAC, in the country, at Adams State with fellow Jamaicans, uh, how much more focused does that make you when so many people are always monitoring your athletic activities? Always monitoring. I like that because it, because it's true. Um, it's not just you're an Adam State athlete or you're in the RMAC. It's like competing against an American or a Jamaican. I really, I really, really realize this, you know, it's a big deal for everybody, you know, and they expect more from us. I don't know why, but they expect so much more from Jamaicans and it's ridiculous. Like, it's not like we eat a certain food or we drink a certain drink yeah. that makes us good. It's just the level of determination <laughs> or the mindset we have 
Dude, that's a lie. If there was Jamaican jerk chicken in Alamosa, everybody would be running as fast as you are. But but you, you, you like it. I mean, you do appreciate the level of attention because you put in this level of effort. It's not like you just stumbled into this talent. Take me back to St. Elizabeth and, and some of those training sessions that alerted you to your skill set and how those days have turned you into the talented young woman that you are today. It's all about the people in my community. You know, they motivated me a lot. My mom, my dad. My mentors, you know, they really motivated me a lot. And being a Jamaican, it's it's the best you could. It's like, it's just having a thing in your life that makes you, it's just accepting yourself as a Caribbean person, you know, or, or accepting the fact that you're Jamaican, you should be on top of everything, you know, and it's the same thing that, they preach in St. Elizabeth. You're from St. Elizabeth. You have to represent the parish. You have to represent the country wherever you go, young or old. Just represent. Well, and it's it's a huge parish. I mean, over 100,000 people. Uh, you definitely had competition at, at a very young age. You know, when, when we chat with seniors, especially at the collegiate level, it becomes almost a rite of passage to talk about the conclusion of your career and, and what it means. But with athletes like you, it, it just feels like the beginning because this is not going to be the end of your athletic career. Looking at what Adam State has meant, but also what it's going to present to you for future opportunities in the track and field community. How do you approach your senior season when, when there's so many driving forces with it? <laughs> um, that's a good one. This senior year, it's for me, it's all about winning or bringing to the table something that Adam State has never seen before. You know, that's why I went out and I recruited Chrisanne Walters and Kayon Robinson. And I know just those two can make a huge difference on our team, you know. It's all about winning for me this year. It's all about sharing my beliefs, my values, my aims and my goals with my teammates and reaching to the top so other student athletes could you know feel motivated enough to come here now just between you and me camera i want you to know that your coaches do recognize that you were able to recruit these athletes here a lot of coaches always want to take credit but the international connection obviously helps how much leeway does that give you with your coaches? I'm sure Brandon Campbell is not, uh, you know, still in your ear as much as he were, was last year, considering all the talent you, you've been able to bring to Alamos, if that's not true, is it? He, he's still giving you a hard time. He still, he still does give me a hard time. It's every day with Brandon. Like, BC is just, he's, he's different, you know. He's different. He's at a level where, you know, he's the coach where you cuss every day, but you make up the day after, yeah. you know. He's just at a different level, and he has the same goals that I have. You know, it's all about winning. It's all about team spirit, you know. Um, but Brandon, he, he, I don't think he'll ever change. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. He's my neighbor. We have the same relationship. I'll be out screaming and swearing at him outside my balcony, and then we're hugging the next day. He's, he's quite the coach. So you want to win. You obviously have a lot on your mind this year, but – uh, what is it, long term or just just meet by meet right now? How, how do you balance trying to improve your time, look for a national championship, but also be prepared for you know Albuquerque in four weeks? Okay, it's all about meet by meet. You know, I, I yes, I do. You know, think ahead, but I uh, I just take things a day at a time. You know, or week by week or month by month. I deal with the first phase, and after I pass that, um, I will move on, you know, but it's all about opening in the 400 in Albuquerque on the 20th. Um, that should be exciting, and it also will be nerve-wracking because, you know, it's my second season running the 400, and I'm looking forward to see what I have to offer. Okay, Marie, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. It's Kay Marie Jones with the ASC track and field team. This is Adam State Athletics on KSPK.